You? Is there anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. You know, Mom's away visiting, and she's left Pa and Unky to do the family wash. Listen, Pa's reading her note of instruction. Dear Pa, be sure to use Does. It's that new kind of soap, you know. <laughs> As if I didn't know Does does everything in our wash. Ready, Unky? Uh, yep, I I'll start the washer. Ow! Unky, you pushed the wrong button. Your hand's caught in the ringer. There. You all right? Well, I can still use my left hand. Okay, then pour some does in the washer. Yeah, all right. Yeah, uh, there. Now, Ma says in her note, use does for the work shirts, towels, rag rugs, daisies, rayon, blouses, everything. Gosh, I wish I hadn't dirtied up my overalls like I did. It's all right, Unky. Ma says right here, does will get them clean easy. Don't even bother with a bar soap. Does gets clothes clean all by itself. Got those work shirts in? Uh, yep. Good. Now, you sort out the towels and sheets. <laughs> Ma's note says, hang them where the new neighbor can see how dazzling white does gets them. She'll see no soap gives whiter washes than does. Uh, women. <laughs> hey, hey, wh what's this? Do we does this, too? This uh, pink thing? Oh, sure, Unky. Uh, that's a uh, rayon doodad of daisies. Ma says does is safer for the nice colors she washes. Yep, gives longer life for colors. Yet you can't beat does for getting the grimiest clothes clean. Well, here we go again. Yeah, <laughs> well, Pa, never thought you and I'd come to this. Oh, that does for you, Unky. It does everything. <laughs> yes, even Pa and Unky find wash day easy with does. Why, compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, does gives longer life to colors, plus unsurpassed whiteness and real cleaning power for the dirtiest clothes. Try does, D-U-Z. It does everything in the wash. Now, the Goldbergs. You know, the main trouble with being too clever is that cleverness involves tricks and traps. And tricks and traps are a game that two can play as well as one. Rosie Goldberg is being too smart for her own good now. She suspects that her sister-in-law, Grace, is somehow rather suspiciously connected with a young neighbor, George. So Rosie, instead of driving the thing out into the open with her parents, has decided to play up to George and make Grace jealous. Well, unfortunately, Grace and George planned the same thing in reverse, using George to take Rosie's mind off things. And now, it's working out in a most peculiar way. Listen. Uh huh, uh, Uncle David. Uh, Uncle David, what did Mama say? What did Papa say? Did Grace say anything? Did, did they tell Grace that I went to school in George's truck? Yes, yeah, she knows. Well, uh, well, Uncle David. Uh, well, pa Papa said. What did Grace say? Was there any reaction? Well, there's a dance tonight, Uncle David. I have to go, and I have to go with George because if I want to make Grace jealous, but, but then George, maybe. Uncle David, please. I know I'm on the right track because making Grace jealous is. But Rosie, if there's I... anything between George and Grace, it'll all come out. Please, well, Uncle David, you must. Right down to fix your lunch, Rosalie. Oh, thanks, Grace. Grace. Do you think that it would be very wrong if if I asked George to take me to the dance tonight? I do. Well, why? Well, I mean, Rosalie. Well, you can't say that George isn't very, very nice. Not nice enough. If you ever went out with him, you'd know he was nice enough for anybody. He's so much fun and... What? 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 George? George? Wash up for lunch. Are my eyes so very pretty? Who, who said they were so pretty? Ten guesses. George. Hmm? And George said that I was the first girl he ever went out with who had natural wavy hair. Ma, there's a dance tonight. Rosalie, wash up. 
Uncle David, I have to see you a minute. Rosalie, you'll be late. I won't, Ma. Uncle David? Yes? What do you want with Uncle David? Well, she wants me. She just wants me. Grace, what dance, Grace? Excuse me, I'll take it. Sit, darling. Don't disturb yourself, darling. What I'll do with that child, I don't know about. Hello? Hello? Molly? Yes, dear. Is Rosie home for lunch yet? Yes. Are you going to talk to her? I will, dear. Do so, I... I will, dear. Nibble it in the butt, Molly. I'm warning you. Don't worry. I am worried. I don't know, George. Who's his mother? Who's his father? All right, dear. Don't rush me. I'm not rushing you, darling. I'm not rushing you. Why am I rushing you? I'm listening. You said I should nibble it in the butt, so I'll nibble it in the butt. She went to the movies, so what are you making such a to-do? Don't make a mountain for the mosel. The child went to the movies, so Uncle David didn't want to go. He wanted to see a western, so he wouldn't see an eastern. So don't make such a to-do already. You're sitting by the desk already, and you can't sit already? Please, Jake, don't start. Don't, don't start. R R Rosalie is five years old. R Rosalie is six years old. She's already with ten years more than six, nearly 17. Please, Jay, don't make me nervous. Don't make yourself nervous. Please. I have no time now. I have to have to fix lunch for Rosalie. So, Jay, call so right. What? So, so, goodbye. Goodbye. Anything wrong, Mother? Mr. Goldberg is a little perturbed. Father's a little perturbed. Because Rosalie went to the movies with George, and George called for her to take her to, 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 to school in the milk truck, and then he was tootling the horn outside, so, so Mr. Goldberg is perturbed. I wouldn't encourage it if I were you. Well, of course I wouldn't encourage it. Of course I wouldn't encourage it. Now I see it ready. Now I see why he came already to the house three times, four times, five times, why he went and ran to the drugstore for you backwards and forwards. I thought it was being neighborly and neighborly. I should think for a minute a man in George's years is coming to the house three and four times a day for, for Rosalie. It's a baby. A girl in her, in her teens as yet. Uh, George, is there a man already? I don't know already. Huh. Sure, I wouldn't encourage it. But I don't know. I always feel if you, if you try to stop a thing, then... I think George is all right, but... He... I also feel a butt, Grace. I also feel a butt. Look how I'm standing and look how I'm talking. And I'm so late, I have to fix lunch. Nothing is standing on the table yet. David, did you took out the eggs in the chicken coop? What? Did you took out the eggs in the chicken coop? No, I didn't, Marlin. You didn't? I, I didn't. All right, excuse me, Grace, darling. You don't have to hurry with the string beans, darling. They're for supper anyway. I'm not hurrying, right. dear. Rosalie, hurry. In a minute. And, and do so. You're standing in the looking glass? Come out of the looking glass. The proper door is very nice. Very nice. I'll be back in a minute. Who, who called? Uh, Father. Oh, Jay? Yes. What did you want? Well, I don't know. Mother said he was a little disturbed about Rosalie. Oh, uh, because she went to the movies. But George is nice. Rosalie says he's so intelligent. Well, well, what do you think, Grace? Is he intelligent? Hmm? Well, I think he's all right. He's a a little too smooth for a young girl like Rosalie, though, Uncle David. Oh, sh she shouldn't go to the dance with him? I don't think so. Why? Why what? I'm, I'm asking Grace why, why you shouldn't go to the dance with George. He hasn't asked me yet. Oh, you are going to ask him? I know what he's going to say. Uh, how do you know? Uncle David, don't be so naive. He'll say yes. Uh, how do you know? Well, I walked home from the movies with him, didn't I? So? So, I never told you this, Uncle David, but you don't mind if I tell him, huh, Grace? Well, I don't know what you're going to tell him. Well, you know what I thought? What? When George kept coming over here. What? I thought he was coming over to see Grace. Grace? <laughs> Why should he come over to see Grace? Oh, huh? it's silly, I know, and I apologize, Grace. I just got that silly idea into my head because George and Grace both came from the same town, and... So? Well, it never occurred to me that, well... What? <laughs> well, it seems funny to say this, but... Of course it's you. But, Grace, really, it never occurred to me. I never... Am I really so attractive? George says I'm... 
Well, I can't repeat it. There's so much she likes you. Grace, darling, see that my mother lets me go to the dance. But, Rosalie... Please, I want to go, and I want to go with George. You, you, you have to ask him first. Shall I call him? I wouldn't. Well, there's no harm if... But, Rosalie, If no. I wasn't sure that he'd be happy to take me, I, I wouldn't even ask him. Hello? I, I want Masha's farm, please. Yes. Who are you calling, Rosalind? Masha's. What do you want with Masha? Hello, Masha. What does she want with Masha? Hello, I is George there? Why are you calling George? Hello? George? This is Rosie. Rosalie, I don't... George... There's a dance tonight. Oh, and then Papa Oh, I'd love to go. Rosalie. All right. You'll call for me? Rose, give me the phone. Give All me, right. Give me the... Grace, will Ma? you please take the phone? Will you please speak to Ma, him? I'm going to go to that dance with George no matter what you say. Rosalie, Rosalie. 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 No matter what you want to Mama, you should talk to like that to Mama. Hello, George. Oh, Darling. Grace, Darling. Everything's going according to schedule. Is only a burning one Yes. Yes, you should hear her. You're quite a Romeo. You did the same thing with me, George. Keep it up and they won't be suspicious of us anymore. It's my permission I wanted. We're not leaving until we get the money. Yes. Yes, darling. Rosie? Oh. You take care of that end of the situation. I'll take care of mine. You heard me, Romeo. You don't say yes on the telephone. Goodbye. You told him, Grace? You told him? I told him plenty. Well, the giant squeeze is on. But it does seem that Molly and Jake are the ones who are being hurt, despite Rosie's game and Grace's deeper plan. Say, friends, have you ever been fond of someone even though they just never make sense? Well, then you'll understand exactly why I'm so fond of that flutterhead cousin does them. Well, just yesterday, she was telling me she had a wonderful slogan. It's do, do, everything with does. Yeah, do, do. But your slogan should explain what does, does. You know, this new kind of soap does everything in your wash. Work shirts, towels to rayon slips. That's my slogan, do, do, everything yeah. with does. Do, do, but, 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 but ladies should know that compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, does gives longer life to the colors they wash. Plus, unsurpassed whiteness for towels and real cleaning power for the grimiest overalls. Does do do Oh, ev poor uh, dear, you're stuttering. I'm not. I'm simply trying to say uh, do do everything in your wash with does. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> does does everything. And friends, here's a does wartime request. All soaps contain vital war materials, so don't waste does. Always put clothes to soak in clear, cool water before washing. Help every bit of does you use do more. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. Rosie's plans for the dance are almost shattered, but not quite. This is Clayton Collier speaking for Procter & Gamble and saying, Do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash. <laughs>